And hello again, Internet. Well, here we are with part three of the build expansion block, and I got it wrong last time on which one I was going to do. Apparently, Redneck Rampage Rides Again is actually a pseudo-sequel, whereas it's Sucking Grits on Route 66. That's the expansion plaque, and apparently it has two episodes as opposed to the others, which were basically one episode each. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Give me just one moment here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Needed a drink. All right. We're going to start a new game at part one. And uh, I'm kind of dreading this one, to be honest. I'm not going to do it on Kill Billy. I'm just going to do it on hard ass. Because, you know, I'm a I'm a wimp. Okay, Jesus, first thing we're going to do, as soon as we get in the game, you'll notice it's very loud. And the music is turned off. That's an important thing, because it's the same music as... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, wait, wait. There we go. It's the same music as was in the base game. And that music got me... Oh, got copyright claims against my videos and basically forced me to take it off YouTube. So, we're not going to play the music this time, which is honestly for the better because the music is insanely loud and you can't actually change the volume of it and it's got eight tracks because, yeah, it's based on an eight track. It's actually kind of neat that it does that, but yeah, no, we don't, don't need it. Okay, what do you want, dude? Okay, I'm here. Is that the end of the level? Hit the road. Uh, that was literally the first level. It's just going and hitting the road. Okay. Although there's apparently some kind of secret there. There was something to kill. Didn't see what. Hi there. I mean, that's... Okay. That's actually interesting to have the first level just straight up be the... Yeah, all right, let's go. We're going on a road trip. Okay. So we are. Oh, whoa, secret area. Kind of. Oh, hey, there's a secret place. Now, remember, this game had a very interesting... Remember, what am I saying? You guys didn't get a chance to see it unless you played it yourself. This game has a very interesting mechanic for health. It has food and booze. Uh, I don't know how I just ate pork rinds underneath, but you'll notice that my gut went up there a little bit. Um, oh crap. Wow, okay, yeah, that, that was cool. See, wrong button. I have yet to actually save this. So. But yeah, it has, wow, Jesus Christ, these shotguns. So much damage. So much damage. But it has two different types of health items. Food and booze. Of course, the more booze you have, you'll actually even start having effects to your controls. It'll, you know, kick you around a bit. It'll be hard to maneuver. It'll force you to walk in certain directions. That's a fun one. Beyond that, um... Food, well, does help take the booze part down. God damn it. Oh, it's going to use the same saves because it's an expansion pack. Uses the same save slots as the previous. Lovely. But yeah, the uh, food and booze. Booze you can carry with you. So that's what makes it special and kind of better off for you. Whereas the food you find anyway. Getting food will actually take down the booze a little bit. So it's a way to balance things out. And it's actually a very interesting system. I mean, it's made specifically for the joke of this, but you know, when the joke works, the joke works. And yes, this game is just insanely fucking loud. I am sorry about that. Okay, I keep reaching over to hit a button. Ow! Now, another thing you might notice so far is all these enemies are hit scanners. All of them. As opposed to Duke Nukem, 
where most of them aren't. You'll also notice I have a little bit of auto aim going on. Damn, I really should have used the booze before I hit that. And this is, yes, of course, a build engine game. It's going to have all the flaws in it. And I'm using the base build engine version. <sighs> That's going to be very annoying. I don't think I can actually change the key for it. But yeah, this is the base build engine version. It doesn't have an enhanced engine right now. I am just playing it straight off of GOG. Which does not have the Deer Hunter version. This has the base game, this expansion, it has Rides Again, the pseudo-sequel, but it doesn't have the Deer Hunter expansion, which is basically taking the Deer Hunter game style and putting it in a build engine. I kind of want to see that! I really want to see that. I have no idea how that would work. Huh. Did I just... No, I'm not the one making that noise. Okay. Hold on so to found butt. a secret place here. I save frequently, which is why I'd like to have my quick save button somewhere else, but apparently I can't do that. Not even a toilet, just a hole in the ground. Okay. Kind of looks like I should be able to go down there, but eh, whatever. Now, as I played the original game, I was making the note that this was basically the fourth of the big three build engine games. And it's, you know, lesser known, lesser received. Like steak on shit? Because, well, I mean, take a look at this theme. This is not exactly a classic right here. It's very crude, lewd, and vile. But let's, let's be honest, so is Duke Nukem, so is Shadow Warrior. They are what they are. At the end of the day, this actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but some of the stuff they did was rather unique with it, and I did enjoy playing through the base game. It was hardly the greatest thing I've played, but it wasn't the worst. You've seen some of the crap I've been through on this show! So I am eager to try these, as, you know, I've never played them before. Uh, I guess I did have to go this way. All right. Carnival of Terror. What do we got here? Gator Hut. Live gators. Ooh, does that mean we're going to have alligators in the... If I jump into the swamp, there's going to be alligators. What do you bet? And don't see any. Don't see them. Oh, there. Look, no. Well, I heard something. Yeah, it wasn't an alligator. So much for the live alligators. I have no idea where the hell they are. Oh, God. The ladder. Why can't I use the ladder? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, build engine ladders. I have to sit there and hold the jump button to climb it. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Well, that didn't help me at all. It's like quite the opposite. I've already been here. So who knows making all that noise in the toilet when there's nobody in the toilet? I mean, I know there's no one in there. I've been to both sides. <laughs> oh, right, this way. And yes, these hit scanning enemies do tons of freaking damage. Especially the shotgunners. You will note, however, they don't tend to shoot right away. There's a little bit of a delay on them. And we saw the one stand there and scratch his ass instead of shoot you for a while. So, that's a thing that can happen. <laughs> On the other hand, it can do that. Just deal massive amount of damage. And you'll note how scrambled the view looks when it gets sideways like that. Now, I'm going to take a drink. Okay. I'm getting up into getting a little tipsy. And yes, it will go down in time. Both the gut and the alcohol go down in time. That did not work at all. I was expecting it to be like the pipe bomb, but nope, nope, nope. 
<laughs> and those things do a ton of damage. Look, do you see that? You see how much damage that did? It wiped those guys out. Completely. Dynamite is very dangerous to use in this game, but whoo, boy is it strong. I'm having trouble seeing these guys, and he's doing a lot of damage to me because I can't see him. Hey, did you see that? How the gut went up, the drink went down a little bit. Now the main flaws this game has, level design is actually really good. Uh, it's the enemies. It's the enemy design that I have the biggest problem with. The graphics are not great. I don't know why they have this style. Okay. Uh, kind of. It kind of looks like they had made, like, like did 3D models and then took screenshots of those models, which we saw that a lot. I mean, that dates back to. No, oh, hi there, alligators. Um, Donkey Kong Country did that. I think it was the first one to do that. It might not be the first one, but that's kind of what these look like. And yet they don't at the same time. They look a little too cartoony still to actually be... Yes, I said. To actually be 3D models. So, who knows how they developed this art for it. Can I kill these alligators? Yes, you can. And they explode real pretty like what you do. Okay, can I get in the water here? I think there's another alligator somewhere, but I can't see it, so... Well, I was hoping there'd be something in the alligator pit. But I don't see it. Oh, there's a few more alligators. Ah, there is something somewhere. Look at that. Ah! See, there we go. There's a key. So I gotta figure out how to get into that alligator pit. Ow. Oh. oh, God! Ow! Alrighty. I really, really wish I'd had my quick save buttons on this. Get a gift. You also note that there are very few actual enemy designs in this. You've got the big fatty, you got the thin guy, there was an alien dominatrix thing, and not really a lot else. So that is this game's biggest flaw, although the level design is kind of out of this world, to be honest. And we've seen what company this game is. I think it was... Oh god, what company? The same one that did that Project Eden, if my memory serves. Ow, I think that one actually managed to hit me. What shotgun... Oh. Oh, well. Well then, in that case. Now, I actually do have some moon pies here in my inventory. That's one of the only non-alcohol, actually gut consumables you can carry... Whoopsie carry with you. And that's a good thing. Because that prevents you from getting drunk, too. What do we got over here? Is this... Hip waders. So I can get through them much faster. Gotcha. Don't know why those would be in with the alligators. Jesus. A lot of alligators over here. Well, these are a new enemy. I mean, these were not in the base game, so that's something. There we go. Climb up here. Whoa, what? 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 Where the hell did you guys come from? And you'll note that I'm using two ammo per shot there, which is why I spend most of my time with this one. 
Okay. I have no idea where these guys are or are coming from or what the deal is. I got a key, though. Which means we can move forward. Hold on to your butt. Oh, I must have grabbed some ammo from that. Hot damn. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's the one I want. I want to be able to see my ammo. So. Yeehaw! The HUD's a bit different in this, as you can see. As opposed to having all of your ammo on just the base HUD, you have to bring that other notch up. And that is, of course, plus and minus. That convention for the old DOS games has been around for freaking ever. I think this Triple X Moonshine is like this game's version of steroids. Okay. See, there's still... I'm hearing the one in here. There was a third one in here, but I don't know where it disappeared to. I think it glitched through the wall. Hey there, Sussmith! I didn't see what the lull was about, but... Alright. Um, I have a key. There's a door that needs a key. I know this, and I remember where it is. I just have to get back to it. Stop walking in circles, you idiot. There we go. It's back here. Oh, oh, hello. Where did you come from? Oh, yeah, and I love that delayed reaction to death. Oh, the gator's showing up again after killing him. Yeah, yeah, spawning enemies. You know how much I love those. God. It's a clown! I'll barbecue your ass and molest. Yes, I'm saving all the time. I have not played this expansion before. I'm actually looking forward to it because so far it's been an interesting experience. Okay, and again, the goal of every area is to get to him. Why your friend keeps getting in trouble, I don't know. I'm gonna have to swim, aren't I? Yep, it's swimming time! I'm not swimming, I'm just walking through the mud. Boo! Don't need it! Taking it anyway, since I'm here. No, ah, there we go. No, that doesn't help me swim, that just gets me out of there. So, I don't have to swim. Gotta be nice if there was a ladder right there, wouldn't it? Yeah, this game is dumb. I just want you to know that. But I love the level design, in all seriousness. This has some of the better build engine levels. Let me guess. No, I can't just open the door even though it's closed. It's kind of expecting to be able to. And it does that to me all the time, and I don't know why. I don't have that key. I, I do kind of want to shoot him. I really do. Okay, so clearly I'm missing something. Let's go back. Gator Petting Zoo. I'm sure the kids would love that. Stumpy and I've been here three times. Ah, yes. I have to figure out how to get down there. <laughs> yeah, most places cost an arm and a leg. This place only costs us a hand. It's got an exit sign! <sighs> mm. 
No, that takes me back out here. That's not where I want to go. I guess I can go underneath again. Probably waste my hip waders. Oh! Of course. So I don't have to go down there. I've been down there. Okay, how do I get in here then? I honestly think I'm supposed to figure out a way from this muck. There's no ladder over here though, which is what you'd expect to find. What is up with this? What is up with this right here? Weird. I do remember this. I'm running the original version of this, basically. This is the GOG version. No engine enhancement. So any flaws of the engine this time are because of the end. Do I have to, like, jump onto something to get out of here? I don't think these guys were that smart. No, that's an invisible wall. Oh, I've been invisible walled again! See, there's no doors or anything on the outside here. I clearly have to go around to that. Or just, I don't know, blow up the freaking gate. I doubt that'd work. No, that didn't work. That's not how you get in. So this is the exit. I don't see any way of opening it. Even back here, can't get in up there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing out here. So... That, whoops, wrong one. Sorry about that. That's why I want the quick save, quick load buttons to work. Alright, let's see. Is there a way to get around there from over here? Closed. Probably not. This is the beginning of the map again. And as you can see, there's nothing there. Oh, hello, car. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> the hell are these things supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, praise the level design, and then I remember that this game did have one level that had me absolutely stuck because I had to look up and shoot a button that was hidden behind things. So that was fun. I mean, do I have to like jump out here? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, Let's jump around the gate. Gotcha. Well, that works. Rifle. Okay. Alright, that actually wasn't bad. That was my stupidity for not finding it sooner. Exit again. Alright, well let's see, none of these seem to have... Oh, yeah, that, that looks safe. That looks perfectly safe! This place is closed. Why are there so many people in it? I thought the music was turned off. Why are you hearing music? That's not the soundtrack. That's environmental music. And that works. Gosh. Alright. Shoot him, wait 30 seconds, then he dies. Whoa, 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 I hear you. Oh, 
Trying to keep an eye on my ammo down there. Ferris wheel that just disappears if you look in the wrong place. Disc, disc. Alright. This place is mostly empty. I bet I can shoot those ducks and I might actually get something for it too. Hey, moonshine. Don't need it, already got it. There we go! Oh, we got dogs. Those were in the base game. That's it, just health over here. Well, dag nabbit. Alright, switching up weapons again. Do I have to go down in these things? That's a possibility. Saving frequently. I think I might have to. Oh, well, there's there's this thing, the freak show. Let's go to the freak show. There we. Oh, that's pretty cool. We got it so dark, you actually do have trouble seeing in here. Okay. Bear. Got me my whiskey. Got me my bear. All of that here. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you. Found the skeleton key, which I would assume opens Yee everything. <laughs> Love that nice fake alien there. That's beautiful. Of course, a bunch of enemies just spawned in because I picked up the key. Yeah, lovely. Now, really, what kind of freaks can this place have that are any worse than the enemies in the game? A sea cow! I'm glad it's these guys and not shotgunners that spawned in. Shotguns in this area would be just nasty. Again, you'll notice, despite the fact that these are hit-scanning enemies, they don't actually shoot that much. Wait, is that the thing that's vomiting? Or am I vomiting because I'm close to this thing? I can't even see what this is. I hate to say it. Alright, I am pretty sure I've seen everything in here. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be my character vomiting because I'm seeing these things. I've seen a lot worse as this character. Alright, so... Let's... What, 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 where? You're not in here, are you? Somebody shot at me from somewhere. Oh shit, that's a sheriff, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Forgot about those guys. They can hurt, as you can see. Yeah, sheriff shot me. Now you notice him. He empties his magazine or empties his gun every time. That's his shtick. He completely empties it. That's not what I want. Where's the... There we go. Uh, 
All right, well, that brought me back up. Probably could have been done better, but yeah, the sheriff completely empties his gun every time and then takes a little bit of time to reload. That's his thing. Yeah, cow pies. Why is that door going up and down? That is messed up. Okay, let's not use that now that I have one ammo left for it, like an idiot. Can I actually get up there? Yeah, it looks like such an obvious thing that you know. Ow! Bad! But why did it Hello? I do like that. I like these things moving on the wall. That's pretty good. Door though. Door though. Yeah, as nice as this kind of looks, it's messing with the physics of this, because it's bouncing me up and down and making it hard for me to do anything. Like I keep getting stuck on walls and such there. Let's do a different gun. Let's do a bigger gun. Who doesn't love bigger guns? Alright, I'm gonna shoot up. Alright, around this way. You'll note that the machine gun has the rising on it like that. I think it's one of the early games to do that. To have that effect. To add, you know, recoil. So why do I have two skeleton keys now? If it's a skeleton key, it should fit anything. Hi there, Freddy. <laughs> and these things are enemies in the b base game. And very, very annoying ones at that. Yeah, there are actually more enemies than I remember. Alright, that's not too bad then. <laughs> huh, not a bad little fun house. Yeah, three skeleton keys, no less. I'm assuming that the other key I got was for this. Which means the key I have now is to get the hell out of here and I dropped it. I think this is a get the hell out of here key. We shall find out as I get the hell out of here. No, oh, Jesus! Oh, it didn't even blow up. I guess because I'm dead, it wouldn't explode. But yeah, see, that's their shtick right there. Is they just sit there, load all their things, and then you're supposed to kill them during the reload. That's cool! That is actual... You know, a, a unique AI for an enemy. They hurt like hell if they hit you. Ah, I made the jump and fell down the other side anyway. I am kind of upset because that guy was not there before. Alright, at any rate... Unfortunately, there's some ammo right here. <laughs> See? Now that's actually really cool. That is a character design that I haven't seen in other build engine games. Can you stop doing that? Okay, that's an open door die. That was an absolute open door die. What the hell? Ow. Freaking open door die. Oh, 
also love how you get to the, ec the entrance of this at the end of the map. And I probably could have ignored those guys, too. Come on, Leonard! Come on. Is that... There's no secret door to get in there? Eh, well, whatever. Yeah, thank you. Thank. I really needed to watch you scratch that. Come on, Leonard! Um, okay, I'm Come here. Like, I'm here, alright. Can we go now? Wh what am I supposed to, where am I supposed to go? Truck, truck, right, other side of the truck? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Game, let me out of the level! I'm gonna have to shoot him? Because I'll shoot him. No. Alright! If he dies, you die. Because you're there to save him. Great! Here I am too! Hit him with the crowbar! Of course! That's all you always want to do. You want to hit your friend in the head with the crowbar! Don't make me break my foot off. That is a lot of enemies getting me right away. This is again something I dislike in the games. I should have a chance to save in safety at the beginning of a level. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Press any key to continue. I've pressed keys, and I continue now. <sighs> yes. Yes! I don't know why the game does this. The will note, there is auto-aim, yeah. So that helps me. That's just that's just part of the building. Alrighty. Is there anything back here? No, that would have been useful. Are you hitting me? Yes, you are. Which means I can hit you. Thank you. Which means you guys over here I should be able to hit as well. Please. Notice how I get kicked back a little bit every time I shoot. I'm not actually hitting those ones. Love that freaking rusty sign squeaking as it turns. That's a hell of a thing. Boy, I could use some health. Boy, I could really use some health right now. Well, okay. That happened. Ah, uh, oh, it's like, there's still someone shooting at me. Where is he? Right there, right, dead, okay. So despite the fact that I do praise the level design, some of the stuff like monster placements has problems. But in all seriousness, I do like the way they lay some of these levels out and the way they loop around each other. At least in the base game. Obviously, I can't compare this that much yet because it is my first time here. Alright. I see you. Enemies are difficult to see in this. I should at least aim somewhat near them. Pretend that I'm doing alright. Sounds like we're gonna have some of the music in here. Just being played naturally, which is not good for me. Because, again, the makers of the music that was featured in this game don't seem to like the fact that their music is in this game. Yeah, I got some health. Some, not a lot. The main thing right now is I gotta stay the hell away from these gas pumps. 
Because I sure don't want them exploding on me. Especially when there's ammo in there. Alright, speaking of ammo, did any of these fatties... Oh, there you go, let me drop one. Can I crush myself? Nope. But here we have a problem with the map design. I'm betting you can guess what this is. Can I go under it then? Nope. Aha! There's why. Because I can go inside the thing. So, because you can go inside, remember, this is an earlier ber uh, version of builds. So unlike Shadow Warrior, this is more based on, like, Duke Nukem. So, you can't see the top of this sector, because the top of the sector is, well, that's it. There is no top of the sector. We're actually at Skybox right here, and I don't like that. I wish it had been done something to prevent you from jumping up it like that. But just having a... Yeah, having this kind of a cab right here would have prevented you from being able to jump up and see that. But yeah, that's the ceiling just brought down a little bit and the floor brought up. Very disappointing. I am very disappointed when I see things like that. Because I do like workarounds, and, you know, they're using the engine to make interesting-looking things. Using the limitations of the engine, well. But, even then, you've got to take account. Is there possibly a different way of doing it? Is there... Of course. Is there something that would make it even better? Come on, and remember, this isn't even the hardest difficulty. Hell, this is the third out of five difficulties. So, it's still, quote, hard, unquote, but... It's actually closer to medium. Alright. Open the employees only section. Yeah, I figured there'd be more guys in here. Yeah, please scratch your ass, don't shoot me. That's much preferable. Ow. Go away, go away, go away. Alright. Obviously, I should switch to my shotgun since I'm full up on ammo. Out of order. Can't open that. Shooting range. Can't open that. This one looks to be a painted on door, at least for now. Ah, something to be something I could pick up. Ow! Aha! See, whiskey behind the door. Ah, see, sneaky. Okay, scatter gun. Well, that's a pleasant sound. What, can I only have the four? Oh. I have to be able to jump up there somehow? Huh, because it looks like I can go up there. Yeah, I can definitely get in there somehow. But, hell if I know where. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, though, how they did the refrigerator there. Alright, this key? Nope, not that key. Great. We're going to do the back and forth map thing. Damn it. I shot that wall good! Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm being sneaky, ducking behind things, ducking around corners. I'm trying to survive. Hello. Okay, well, at least that's just a juke box with generic. It's not actually doing lyrics or anything, so. Shouldn't actually get me anything about the cop. Uh, no, no. Shouldn't actually do anything about the copyright stuff, so. That's a plus. Oh, come on. Any other key? I swear to God, if this. Gosh, it is. It is. Watch this. Is the, there's the key right there. So, this is the key to the freaking shooting range. Which means I'm going to have to go to the shooting range and come back here before I can open this door. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, okay, that's not so back and forth, man. Still got spawning enemies, though. Love those. Oh, we're going to have some cows down here. Alright. Now, here's the thing I'd note. You know, there are people today who take offense to Shadow Warrior because it's caricatures. Don't see as many people complaining about this game and it's caricatures. Love the targets. Okie dokie. Ammo. Oh, I'm gonna have to get those. Yeah, it's really not any different. Now, I have a feeling. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna have to be careful about which ones I do and don't. Oh shoot, do not want that in my hands. Which one of those I do and don't send forward, unless you can send them back again. If you can send them back again, it does not matter. Yup. Yup. There we go. Right, let's go back and get that ammo. Now that I'm almost out. Okay. Hunting rifle shells, shotgun shells. Much better. And that will actually open that switch. Alrighty. Now, can I send this switch back? Yes, I can. <laughs> the reason that's important is, well, what happens if you do the one last? You wouldn't then be able to get out again. Let's see if there's anything behind these two. Don't see it. Ah, yep, ah, ah, see? Secrets. Secrets, secrets. That's as much as that as I'm going to drink. Don't want to get too tipsy. Come on! Stop that! Because I can't actually get out. Of it. Look, I can get out. Oh, wow, that's even worse. Oh, no, it's not, because you can get out around here. Okay, I stand corrected. You can. It looked for a second like it would be a point of no return, but no, you can't actually get back out. So, Where are the cows? I hear cows. I honestly thought I was going to be going down there and shooting cows. Oh, okay. Hi there. Um, I don't want to play with you, so... 
Enjoy. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you. She said, I don't want to play with you. Because of that. I'll barbecue your ass and molest. Would you guys quit spawning more enemies in? So bad. Like steak on sheep. I do have to wonder though, is that does the cow pie give me six or three? Oh, there you are. Yeah, you guys that were also cleared out earlier. Really. Or actually weren't even in there earlier. Really. Okay, auto aim! Auto aim! The auto aim is trying to shoot too high. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking auto aim is shooting too high. There we go. When they climb up like that, I can't shoot them. Again, I'm shooting like I'm shooting too high. I'm shooting the things around it instead of the people I'm trying to shoot. That's a problem with the auto aim. I don't know if the level is intentionally designed for that, so that you're not supposed to shoot through that, or what the deal is. But that's very annoying. Like this is why you don't want to know whatever's in your food. Ow! So too close to fire and got myself burned. Oh, come on, that doesn't open? Are you kidding? That's more like it. Oh, damn it! Dog, 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 go. Nope. Ow! Dogs hurt! Okay, close that door again. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about the dog. Such witty conversation. Why well, I haven't heard such amazing conversation since... Wolfenstein with the... Find Laban! And who could forget? Gordon Tog! Okay, so yeah. Every time I see those, use the whole damn stack up. Gotcha. Because each one is a full stack. Good to know. What? Where's my... There it is. That wasn't what I wanted to do just now. Yeah, that worked. That worked beautifully. Just turned my back to the guy with the shotgun. Perfect. Could not have been better. Come on, dog. Die. Thank you. Uh, 30 rounds left. I can still use it. Now yeah, switch over. Man, pigs everywhere. What's all that noise? Okay, I'm back to a lot, lot of ammo for this. Man, I can use some help. Well, I'm not getting inside this one if I can go under it. Remember how they work. No level on level, at least not in a way that you can see both levels. You can get level on level, but it's kind of... Oops. It's kind of a workaround. Yeah, that's what I was looking for earlier. So that will give me a box of dynamite. 
Assuming I can get up in there. I don't think I can, actually. There we go. Come on. Damn it. You know what? Let's try that again from this side without having to run all the way around. Hey! Hold on to your Dynamite! Now, can I get back oh, out Leonard. quickly? Yes! Ha-ha! Success is mine. Now, can I get in here? Alright, the pigs hurt. Ah, uh, kind of, but not really. How about the cows? Right. Nope, no hidden stuff in here. Just a bunch of cows. Suppose I could kill them. Why would I kill the cows? Right, right. I don't know who's just shooting at me! Well, one of the cows had a gun! Cows with guns. Run, cows, run. Okay, press the key. I press the key. Big Billy's Brewery. Yeehaw. Ow. Ha <laughs> ha! Two for one. I'm on you like steak on. You can hear a lot more of this game without the freaking s soundtrack. The music is just so fucking loud in this game. Hold on to your butt. And there's only eight tracks because you know it's an eight track. They're very annoying. They fit. But, yeah. Alright, where's my whiskey? There. Whatever. Close enough. Good enough. Could do better, but it'd take a little bit more alcohol. I just wasted all of my... Consumables. Not all, I still have the beer. And some whiskey. Ah! Okay, I need to stop using that right now. Yay! Well, speaking of consumables, look at that. Moon pies are one of the better consumables just based on the fact that, you know, like I said, they're food as opposed to the booze. You don't want too much booze. Can I jump over that? No, doesn't look like it. I mean, I might be able to, but I'm not going to press the issue right now. Doesn't look like you can go inside this truck, considering, you know. Oh, shit, you guys can jump. Damn, you guys can jump! I'm gonna say white dogs can't jump. Of course, as we all know, you know, you can kill as many rednecks as you want, but you kill the dogs, well, then, nah, now you get in trouble. Now you're gonna get people mad at you. Ah, I'm hearing the alien dominatrix! Oh, I hate that enemy. I really do. Oh, great. Okay, so I don't have that key. Maybe I do have to climb up here and jump over the fence. Well, let's find out one more time. Nope. So, it's going to be this back door back here. Alrighty. Or not. Well then. 
That'll work. That w ah, there's a key. There's a key. I found a key. Enemies are very hard to see sometimes because they're not. I think my biggest problem with the graphics of them is unlike Duke Nukem and Shadow Warrior in the light, where they have the more cartoony and the sharper edges, these guys really don't. And it does make them blend in a bit more, which is kind of bad for pixel art. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I just get pushed back out. That's fine. Wait, you open the door? Hot oh, shit. <laughs> Still hearing that dominatrix. <laughs> Hold on to your butt. You know, I should actually be using the assault rifle right now. Well, let's wait. So that's one thing about this game. The shotgun ammo goes by so quickly, so does the rifle ammo. I spend most of my time with this basic revolver. Fortunately, it's strong enough. Ha-ha! As I'm complaining, I get a new weapon. But I immediately stop using <laughs> beer drinking bison. Well, obviously we know where the beer comes from now. Much like how Budweiser's horse piss. That's why they keep all the Clydesdales around. I mean, that is their natural filtration. Why they don't want you to eat it, drink it warm? You'll taste, you'll taste it. You'll realize and the truth will be revealed. Hold on to your butt. I will also say one thing about this game: with the uh, you get the various fart noises now and then, flatulence. Um. Yeah, the, the more gut you have, the more you're going to fart. Okay. I mean, no, that's at least something for why that gauge exists. I don't know what happens when you fill it up other than you can't eat anymore. Well, it's unlike the booze has a definite effect for filling it. Ammo for the alien arm gun. Of course, I don't have an alien arm gun yet. But that tells me there should be one on this level somewhere. All this alcohol. And none of it is the stuff that I can actually use to drink, is it? No. Sadly, no. That's even worse. So we're in a brewery. There's alcohol all over the place. But not the stuff that I... Ow, open door die! Ahem. <clears throat> not the stuff that I actually can use to increase my life. Pay attention to me, boy! <laughs> and... Alien tit gun. So this level's giving us all the extra weapons now. Lovely. Well, almost all of them. Alright, now somewhere I saw a vent, and I don't recall going through that vent yet. Where was it? Get off my land! What's it down here? Oh, what? What? Where? I was getting bitten by a dog and didn't even notice, wasn't I? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm getting bitten by a dog and didn't even freaking notice. <laughs> okay, where's the dog? Or that guy, even. <laughs> what? I don't even see anything attacking me down there. What happened? Did the shotgun guy actually manage to do that much damage to me and I not notice it? Oh, well, there's one of them. See, the alien dominatrix. Ow, 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 ow! Is that all there is? They hurt. I don't like them. <laughs> now those were... <laughs> those ones weren't even using the... <laughs> hit scanning items. Come on, where are you guys? <laughs> what? Oh, there you are. Okay. So there's that guy down at least. They seem to be trapped. Because even without being the hit scanning, those weapons are a little too fast to actually dodge, so... Come on. Come on. Come here where I can see you so I can shoot you and you can die. That's one down. Might have killed the other one, too. Because I'm not hearing her anymore, so she might have fallen off camera somewhere. <laughs> nope, I still hear her now. Well, I hear one. Don't know if it's the same one. Doggo! I knew it was a dog! See? Dog! Dog, dog. Dog. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Dog's hurt. Got it! So is this game crazy enough for you yet? I do actually recommend picking this up on GOG. It's not expensive. And if you like build engine games, it's actually not bad. It's not great. There's a reason it's not considered the big three. Or a reason why it's the big three and not the big four. Even though this is basically the fourth game of the big build engine games. And I've certainly seen worse than this. This is no tech war, that's for sure. What the hell? Alright, well, I'll just follow the conveyor belt then. <laughs> hey, Zan. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's got some problems, but like I say, whoops, overall, the map design in this is quite good. There's some real creativity showing there. Hold on to your butt. It's just the theme that puts most people off. Ah oh, ha, I knew you weren't dead. I knew you weren't dead. Oh, you're... Okay. Wow, I honestly wasn't sure I'd be able to hit her. I was getting auto-aimed up through the roof there. And out. Okay. So this should be... Yup. That was exactly the door I expected it to be. But I don't know what door this is. Oh, okay. So we've opened up the map a bit. 
Yeah, that's the problem most people have is the theme. Eh, it's just a theme. I will definitely admit I prefer Duke Nukem. But it's not like this is the worst style for a game out there. It's just loot, crew, vile, that's all. down that vent. Alright, before I do that though, look for more health, ammo, anything like that, or enemies to kill. Another one of those beer conveyor belts over here. Hey, some moon pies. Excellent. So I got some health coming up down there. Although I do have to be careful because I need to balance my My um, health versus gut and alcohol. Well, that's kind of limiting there, Z. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment with an attitude like that. You're too. Oh crap! You again. That's it! Ah, oh, she tit gunned me. Those hurt. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go down this vent this time and see what I can find. Okay. Oh, it's these things. Damn. Monkey rat shit flinging bird rat things. That side. Is there anything over here? Not really, so far. And this just takes me back to where I already was. Die before he kills me, please die. Thank you. Come on. What? I cannot get into that side. I can't get under that side. Of course not. Come on, die. Thank you. Pork rinds. Ooh, crap. Ow, ow! Crap, I blew up the generator while I was standing on it. That was not smart. Come on, save you bastard! Alright, let's 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 try one of these other weapons. Should I counter tit gun with tit gun? Let's do that. Ah, she hit me with an explosive before she died. I'm gonna counter tit gun with tit gun. Yep, tit guns are done. Now, I do wonder if that's actually a separate instance of an enemy, or if it's just the color palette that makes that one stronger than the previous types. Because there are several, there's a couple types of those enemies. And they differ based on what color they are. Which we also saw in the Shadow Warrior expansion. How about you like steak on shit? Alright, I am actually going to go ahead and... There we go. Grab some more cow pies. Switch that to something else. 
save the game and continue on. Obviously I need to go up here since that's where, you know, I killed that quote boss unquote thing. Alright, well that just did something. Let's find out what. Yep, open the door down here. With the key! And more enemies are spawning in now. Alright, let's be entirely honest here. This is the happiest moment of this guy's life. He is getting a chance to swim in fresh beer, whiskey, you name it, it doesn't matter. Large pork rinds. Nothing on that side. Yeah, that that's the happiest day of his life. He's peaked. There, there's nothing left for him. I have no idea what door I'm missing at this point. I do not like the back and forth that this thing keeps doing. I will admit that. But the overall map designs are still pretty solid. Uh-huh. There we go. What? 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 I got a key! <sighs> oh, this isn't the key you're looking for. It's the wrong key. Get a find another key. What other key? Where? Who, what, when, where, what, how? Turned off. Oh no. That's a terrible thing to do. Why would I do such a thing? stuck on the freaking bottles and you can't break those so this has to be turned on <laughs> okay well that's the side I've been to before this is the part that I hadn't and as you see I still can't so what the hell turned off. That's exploded, so that's not going to help. Well, it's still not letting me go down that way. Turned on. Are those the same switch? Is this switch powering up that generator back there? What the hell? Okay. Damn it. If my stream starts going to shit, it's because StarCraft started updating. <laughs> Thank you, Battle.net! <laughs> this is the vent I was talking about earlier. How am I going to get to it? <laughs> now Overwatch is updating! Thank you, Battle.net. There we go. Oh, I've already been here. Damn it. Screw with the bull, you get the horn. Actually, no. I don't think I actually got down here. I think I went through this a little bit and then decided not to continue. Like an idiot. Well, how did that make you feel? Where did you even come from, anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so far, I'm missing the crossbow. I'm missing the alien gun. Other than that, I think I have all the weapons now. Bear. Bear. I love how you pick up one beer can and get a six pack makes perfect sense. Can I shoot that? Will it kill me if I do? Yes, it will. Uh, 
That, by the way, is a powder keg. Which I'm already carrying. Uh huh. That is why there was a powder keg. Hot damn. Now we'll carry this one around now. While I shoot the shit out of this one. Hopefully it doesn't kill me from this distance. Hey, you son of a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> ah! Not you guys. Okay, what's even worse now? Now that I've blown that up, I can't actually get up there. Like, okay. Great. Oh! This box to moves. And leaves the bloody footprint behind in the air. Thank you, build engine. At least we can move the box. That's more than Duke Nukem did. Shit monkeys! And an alien! Ow! It's like, I'll deal with the shit monkeys, but I can't deal with shit monkeys and the alien. That's just too much. Let's keep going. Yep, oh, you're still there. Okay. That's gonna kill me! Did I kill the thing already? Possibly. Nope! No, it ain't dead! It ain't dead. However, it's a gun, it's underneath this. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! And out we go. And in we go! Okay, you can see me, but you can't shoot me. Stop it. Stop it. Worst part is, I can't shoot it either. What? You're alive! Oh, you sneaky bastard! I think they respawn. Oh shit. Shit, those hit me, didn't they? <laughs> Double better than Dixie Prime. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch! <laughs> See again, we got the Dominatrix. It's a different color and has different attacks and such. Oh, damn it! Is that? Yay, another teat gun. <laughs> I do think I saw that alien come back. Yeah, he's back. He's back, all right. Let's get over there and deal with him again. If I can get inside this, I can deal with them. There we go. How sad that this is the best way to deal with the alien. Stand in the dumpster. Shoot the alien.
Ow, okay. Don't stand that close to the alien, though, because he will punch you. Or rather, backhand you. The pimp slap of justice. Stay dead this time. Oh, right, right, right! Stay dead this time. <laughs> Forgot about that. And now I have an alien arm gun. Literally <laughs> an alien arm. The gun still attached to it. Whoa, that dog jumped right out the window after me. Woo! Not a happy dog. Alright, that thing is still up there. Oh, oh, nope, she's coming down here now. Stop that, stop that. Yes, stay dead. Get off my land. Oh boy. And now we get to explore up here. <laughs> Hot. Ow. Ah, see a key. Ow. Ow. Something over here shooting me? No, just that dude with the shotgun managed to get perfect shots on me. Res a fragging. Where's some pork rinds when you need them? Guess I'm gonna have to go with the booze. <laughs> yes, save the damn game. Stop that. I have no idea why this game does that. It's like, yes, save. This is the name I want. I'm on you yes, like save. This is the name I want. Okay, there we go. I have a full battery now of weapons. What level am I on, anyway? Big Billy's Brewery. I got half the weapons in this freaking level. Alright. Let's climb up here. Shouldn't be anything else I up here. You like steak on shit. Alrighty. Well then. I wonder if I can just jump over it from this side. Yeah. Oh, I didn't jump, but yeah, whatever. So, there's still one door for me to find. You know, let's try jumping that again. So I'm pretty sure where I want to go is on the other side of all this crap. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Jump. No, that's definitely invisible walled. And falling damage. Because of course there's falling damage. Why wouldn't there be falling damage? And out we go. Assuming I can get back out of this. Perfect. Now, I remember where this key goes this time, at least. Oh, crap. I don't think... Yeah, okay. I have to ride this across. And there's going to be the door. So before there's an open door die, let's save. Yeah, I see you've enjoyed yourself here. Bastard. Okay, that's the brewery. I got about one more level. Well, we'll see. Run for your lives. 
Because, I mean, honestly, this episode might be almost over. Watch this turn out to be another two-day game. Oh, cool. Hush, puppy. And once again, these old 90s first-person shooters. They are designed every level you're supposed to be able to do from scratch. That's why there was a shotgun sitting right there. Mind you, I prefer having my ammo from the other levels. It makes more sense that way. Alright, shotgun for a while. Uh, shoot him, not the chickens. swap o -rama, no key. And I'm pretty sure... See, I do like the level design in this game, but there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that's not good. But I mean, other than that, this level, you know, they fit the theme all right. There's some creative, funny bits in them. Getting one-shotted by a dude with a shotgun. From a distance. That has nothing to do with the map design, though. Let's switch back to the pistol. I see the dog. Let's grab those moon pies, though. And the whiskey. So I got my health stuff back. Yeah, so far so good. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Yee, doggy, doggy. There you go. Want to kill it before I open the gate? Cause those things hurt. Who got their pistol? Ain't got the key anyway. There's a lot of open door dies in it. I'm on you like steak on cheese. Now, mind you, the, what? Oh my god, did he just do 50% damage to me? See, very inconsistent amounts of damage. Oh shoot, you're still there. Thought I killed you. I can't even hit him this time. Now, this game, despite its theme, despite Zant's, you know, hesitation due to the theme, did come up with a lot of creative things. I love the way the bullets knock you around when you fire. I mean, it's silly. It's stupid. It doesn't make a whole bunch of sense, but it is an early recoil mechanic in a game. Okay, so that wasn't a secret. That's literally where you had to go to get a key. Now, the question is, is this key going to be for the gate next to me, or is it going to be over for the... Um, what is that? Beer. Okay, it's just beer in here. Alright. Is it going to be back here? I'm going to assume it's back here because this game loves to make you run back and forth. So how did these guys get in here? There's no door. How did you get in there? There's no door! Huh. Alright. So clearly that wasn't the right one, which means it must be this gate. Better. Better usage of key. Now, I don't mind a key that takes you, like, a door right next to where you start, and you have to run kind of all the way across the level to get the key to open it, a la Blood on the train level. Yeah, that's actually well done. Hey, this guy's got a different color. He's gray instead of blue. What the hell? That makes me wonder why they haven't done that more often with these enemies. Look, 
blue. The rest of them are blue. Why was that one gray? I mean, you can set the color like this. Isn't that a gray one? You can set the color like that using the build engine. You know, we talked about that with the Duke Nukem expansion pack. And why all those enemies had a bunch of different colors to them. Ooh, you know what? I better go... I better take a drink. There we go. I'm surprised this game hasn't used that more. In fact, that is honestly the first time I've noticed it. Gray. Also gray. Maybe they've all been gray and I've just been stupid. Which, again, you could change the color. Why don't you? Have some in gray. Have some in blue. Have some in... I guess you could make plaid for the red, maybe. I don't know. Then again, I was talking about that for the dominatrix enemies. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. I would love to have some health. These guys are just throwing way too much damage my way. Even from a distance, those shotguns can hurt. Hot damn. Yep, shotgun time. Well, we're at the flea market now. Cool. And dead. Turned, fired once, got me. I think there's more than one of them over here. There we go. Yeah, there's a shotgun over there as well. Ow! Look at this! See, he's wearing blue! I'm not crazy! Think of this as revenge for duck hunts. There you go. Revenge for duck hunt. That's what that was. Again, though, blue. So they are changing the color of them. All right. Can you not shoot the pig? Thank you. Thank you, auto aim. Thank you for wasting 20 of my life. Can you stop shooting the pig, please? Fucking auto-aim. That's why I swear they put those animals in there just to mess with Bill's auto-aim. Hey, Shark, how you doing? Okay. Oops, no, 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 not that one. Yeah, that's my last level of the day. I'm looking at the clock going, yeah, not going to make another one. Now, why did I be able to slip through that and not the others? What the hell, game? That seems kind of stupid for a secret. Hello. Of course, I already have that weapon. So that didn't do me any good. 
What I could use is some health! Also, wow, that, that particular ambient sound does not travel very far. Ha! Okay, I guess not. But I found out stuff in there, so that's fine. I guess that's... There's not even a door over there. So what, Where's the other side of that door? You, there, there is one. There you are. And again, it's seeking the pig. Alright, I'm actually getting kind of full, so I can't use as much gut filling health. Find some way to expunge that. This love is throwing so much damage at me. Even more damage. Even more damage. I managed to avoid most of it that time. Hot damn! I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you. I don't see you. Where are you that you are telling me this? Yeah, he farts. The higher you are, and every time he does that, you'll notice the gut meter went down when he did that. That's the other side of that door, okay. But yeah, you'll notice the gut meter went down a little bit when he farted. Okay, I've been all through this damn fle flea market, and have not found a key. So at least most of the things now are going to be dead. Now I can go through here a little bit more slowly and see if I can find anything. Like shotgun shells. <laughs> no, that door doesn't open. Oh, I see it! I see it! I saw the key! Got it! No! <laughs> no, it's just getting rid of bloating, that's all. Just bloating. Although, in all honesty, he, he, he might have he squeaked one out. You know, there, there might be some jelly in the back. I think there is, actually. Come on, save. And now we head back to the Swapple Market. Swapple Mart. Swapple Rama. We should be getting close to the end of this level finally. Oh shit. Where's that stupid shit monkey? There. No, that's not a shit monkey. It's Dominatrix. It's even worse. Ow! Is that all there is? Freaking. Oh, and I'm way back here. Uh, stupid teat guns. I hate the Dominatrix. They do so much freaking damage with those. With their attacks. So they can wipe you out pretty much faster than any other enemy in this game. Unless you get a full-on blast that shotgun. Oh, 
<laughs> if I see another one of them, there she is. Let's do my own teat gun to her. Yeah, you see how much damage that was? That's what she just did to me. Ah! Shit monkey! Stop it! Yes, that thing was po pooping in its hand and throwing it at you. Because I stole them from one of them, that's why. A gun's a gun, man! Crap, I need to find another key. Where, where, where are you? Ah, you're down below me. Okay, you're, you're down here. Oh, no, you're up here. I think that door should actually open. Don't know why it's not. Oh, oh here we go. Absolutely! You got the right to bare breasts. I should have brought my gut or alcohol down a little bit. Yeah, there, there's my handsome mug. Why am I still peeing when I'm away from the toilet? Like, I, I'm apparently still peeing. Okay, now it stopped. Well, that was a thing that happened. And he's at it again. Okay. Now hold on, why is it giving me explosives over here? Are you surprised? Are you really surprised by that? Am I supposed to blow that wall up? I don't see any cracks on it other than, you know, the fact that it's covered in cracks. Uh, I think I have to go up there. There we go. There I see it now. Yeah, Z doesn't like this game. It offends his delicate sensibilities. I think it's childish, but... Yeah. You know, whatever. They, they they utilized their unlocked. What unlocked? Key. Key. I found a key. Oh, so the the men's room was locked. All right. Yeah, it offends his delicate sensibilities, see? He turns his no god. He turns his nose up to games like this. Except pedestrian. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. More. Killing these things with a shotgun is difficult. Ow. That was a lot of damage. And I'm gonna die. Oh, see, that's not cool. Shark. I hope things get better for you. I really do. But yeah, it's like, to me, it's it's just the theme. You know, it's like, whoop de do. Okay, it's stupid. It's silly. Okay.
Long as she only uses no, no, no. See, the main thing was as long as she was just using the one attack, that's fine. Now, however, I'm in trouble. <laughs> nope, she's still alive. Ah. And got him! And I loaded instead of saved. And then ate one of the cow pies. I'm amazing. Well, you know what? Let's actually try using a different weapon this time. No. How about the arm gun? Alien arm gun. So called because it is literally an alien's arm. Perfect. Didn't do as well this time, but whatever, whatever. And immediately dead. I am great. Yeah, I'm not going to hit anything here. Too many things to drag my auto aim away. Yup. Too many things dragging my auto aim away in this area. Oops, forgot you were around that corner. Oh, that's not good. The gut goes up even with the alcohol, so... So I'm actually approaching my limit to what I can... Ow. See that? Even after healing, fully healing, that guy just one-shot me. Freaking scatter guns, man. So yeah, I'll just do 50 plus damage to you in one shot. That's fine. Ow. Ow. Stay alive, damn it. Where's the whiskey? Yeah, that's better. Not great, but better. I'm using the other because it's unplaceable around here, but. Come on. Get fatty back there. Excellent. Yep. Auto aim for the chicken instead of the person I'm trying to kill. That's why they have all these animals running around, because it draws the auto-aim away and makes it hard to kill these guys, which is not particularly good design. Because it's basically meaning that you're wasting ammo trying to kill things. Meanwhile, they don't have that problem. They can still shoot at you, because they're not auto-aiming at anything else. Like, like this thing. I'm trying to kill that guy. The pig's getting away. Come on, hit him! I literally couldn't hit him. I literally could not hit him. Because it was just shooting the freaking chicken, or trying to shoot the chicken. Come on, dog. Stay away. No, I said stay away. Stay away. There you go. Oh, that's cool to hear. I don't watch those kind of shows personally. Nothing against them, I just don't watch them. See, again, right for the chicken! Oh yeah, sure, I'll just shoot the thing right in front of my face. Brilliant. It's like, I'm gonna try to shoot him. Go down to the chicken. 
Go to the chicken. So I hate having the spare animals around this. I've got to be getting near the end of this level, though. Hmm, painted on doors. Oh, fair enough, man. Fair enough. 4 a.m., you never know what you're going to find. Okay, see, I want to get up there, but I'm just going to be invisible walled. So. Get away from me, shit monkey. Okay, I got to be near the end of this level now. Which is good, because I'm ready to end this. Stop shooting the chicken, stop shooting the chicken, stop shooting the chicken. Thank you. I hear Jethro over there complaining. Ow! You know, Jethro, you could help. You, you could help. Yeah, I just shot him. He deserved it. You could help. Bastard. Okay, that's the end of the flea market. Yay! <laughs> On to... <laughs> Slaughtering House! Where we will pick it up tomorrow. Now, there's two episodes in this one, not just one. So hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. We shall see. As I'm already getting shot at. But yeah, this... No, oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool then. This is Redneck Rampage. Sucking grits on Route 66. It's... Honestly, the level design's not as good as the base game so far. The base game had some really tight level design in areas. This one's okay. The other one had some bad areas too. I still don't like the graphical theme. I do like the design of the AI, but all this stuff that I'm appraising has been in the base game, not really the expansion here. Don't get me wrong, the expansion is so far more of the same. And if you liked the original, this expansion would have been perfect for you. But there's a reason this isn't, you know, the, why I call the build engine games the big three and not the big four. This is lesser than the other three. It's still better than Tech War. I will be back tomorrow for more of this. Hopefully this one will last more than two days. We shall see. Until then, Internet. Take care and enjoy the games you play.